Okay, so I'm gonna show you real fast how to use a Canon DSLR that supports the EOS utility with the uh, remote live view that you can capture on your computer. And that's um, obtainable through Canon's website under their uh, support and uh, software section. Basically, all you need to do is plug in the USB cable into your computer and should automatically see your camera. Your camera does have to be powered on to uh, either camera or, or the uh, video option. And what you need to do is click on the live view shoot. And then here we are. Um, I have a Zelda poster here um, that's in my live view currently and OBS open up on the left here. I made a scene called DSLR just to show you um, how to do this. Under sources, you hit the plus and then select uh, window capture. I'll name it um, DSLR camera. And we just wanna select under the window dropdown, the remote live view window. Now, uh, we have a lot of undesirable things uh, on this window, so I'm gonna try to fix that real quick, but I'll go ahead and click okay and here's our DSLR in OBS. But for now, I'm gonna drop the um, grid view here. Uh, this little box in the middle, I believe, is the autofocus, which you can toggle off on the camera. You might even have the option in the uh, Canon EOS utility, but I haven't uh, done that because I mainly use it when I'm out shooting uh, on the road. So what we need to do for OBS is Go into the uh, preview window here, right click it and hit transform and then select edit transform. And you want to adjust the uh, crop. So with the left crop, I think um, for this, we can kind of cut out the left by putting in 20. The right, I think we can put in 300 or so, something like that. And you can play with it to get it you know, exactly where you want it to be. but put 20 again on the top and then bottom I think it's like 125 or so to get rid of most of the undesirable uh, items there and I'm just gonna center it a little bit more but yeah you can see you know this is me hello <laughs> um, I'm just gonna put it back on Zelda there we go that's basically how you can get the DSLR on OBS for free no additional software costs you know, you just need to have a, a Canon with the EOS utility, but um, I'm not sure, maybe Nikon has something similar. You'd be able to, to use that same configuration if they have like a live view on their software as well. You know, you just tailor that software to crop it and fit perfectly in OBS. But that is basically it. If uh, you like this video and it found it helpful, please like and subscribe to the channel for more uh, updates coming down and I'll see you guys next time.